the Rolling Stones are tipped to embark on a huge new tour in celebration of their 60th anniversary, and will perform in venues in the UK for the first time since the death of drummer Charlie Watts. The Enduring Band consisting of 78-year-old Mick Jagger and Keith Richards and 74-year-old Ronnie Wood who replaced original band member Mick Taylor, 73, in 1974, have been performing since the 1960s. This year marks 60 years of the Rolling Stones and the boys are planning a huge celebratory tour which is expected to kick off in the UK in July. It will be the first time the group has taken to the stage in the UK since the passing of Charlie who played drums in the group from 1963 and passed away last year at the age of 80. A source told The Sun on Sunday that the group are planning to make their first return to Liverpool to perform since 1971. They said, the last time the Stones were in Liverpool, they played to a small crowd of a few thousand people at the Empire. But Anfield has a capacity of 27,000 people. It will be a huge moment for them and their fans. This tour has been in the planning stages for a long time, and those plans are now on the brink of being finalized. It is a very exciting time. The tickets, when released, are going to be like gold dust. The source went on to tease that the band are going to release a brand new album this year as well as they celebrate their landmark year. Mick and Keith have reportedly been working on new material in Jamaica and are now busy recording their new tracks as they put finishing touches to the new album. The duo were friends since their teens and last year highlighted the 60th anniversary of their first meeting, on October 17, 1961. Following a performance as part of their No Filter tour, the Stones' official Twitter page shared an image of a plectrum featuring an image of Mick and Keith along with the word 17th of October 1961 to 2021, 60 years on the same train. While the band's first ever official performance was at London's Marquee Jazz Club on July 12, 1962, Charlie sadly died last year on August 24 while in hospital and surrounded by family. The Sun's source added, Charlie will not be far from anyone's thoughts as the stones mark this milestone. Speaking about performing without him during the No Filter tour last year, Mick said, We did so many shows with him and so many tours and so many recording sessions, it's strange being without him. When he was sick, he said, You've gotta just carry on and do this tour. Don't stop because of me. So we did. He continued, I miss Charlie because he had a great sense of humor and we also were, outside of the band, we used to hang out quite a lot and have interesting times. We liked sports, we'd go to football, we'd go to cricket games, and we had other interests apart from music. Web celebs at mirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29